Yeah, go for a Black Sheep. Black Sheep IPA, a local Yorkshire beer. And where are we? Yorkshire. Hey, I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is Will, and together we are Top Jaw. And we are in York, one of the UK's most beautiful cities, especially on a day like today. <laughs> We're here to get lost in the quaint and quirky streets of York, looking for the diamonds in the crown of historic gems. Oh, and we're gonna do our very best not to feature the big tourist spots. Right, our first sort of main stop in York, and it's a good one. This is Le Cochon à Vergue. And this right here is Josh, owner and head chef. Touch me. Nice. So this is the black pudding macaron. And a bit of black walnut in there as well. What is black walnut? Black walnut is where you get a whole walnut with its house on, you pickle it for about a year and it goes black. Oh my goodness, wow, that is good. It's like a barbecue black pudding kind of, oh my God, that's amazing. Okay, oh no, this is not wine. So here they do not just a wine pairing, but a soft pairing. And right here is one of the sauce. This is a grapefruit and celeriac soda, and it's delicious. What you see here is essentially pea soup, but elevated, okay? You've got peas here that Josh picked himself this morning. You've got nasturtium ice cream, nasturtium leaf, nasturtium flour, and a pea soup made from the pods. Love the ice cream cold with the warm soup. Presentation on this. Josh just blew my little mind with the best scallop I've ever had in my life. I like I need some alone time. Great to meet you. See you around. Whoa! Uh, Josh, what are you still doing here? Well, mate, you're in my wine bar now. Is it? <laughs> this is Carved Cochon, Josh's wine bar. He opened it because there's nowhere in York that he really wanted to drink at, so he thought, screw it, I'll open one myself. I think, uh, I think Josh kind of undersold this place when he said it was a, a pizza place. Right here is oyster crab tart. Two absolutely divinely smelling pizzas. Feels like you've had a good bite out of the sea. That's how you do a white base pizza. Ooh, big old bouquet from the wild guy. Do you know what? Say what you like about Josh. <laughs> Say what you like about Josh, but uh, the guy knows how to, how to put some flavors together. Jesus. All right, two places down. Quite a fancy way to kick things off, but beer time, Will. Will, you're having a good time today, and you can have a good time later. <laughs> we're in a place called Forest. Really lovely outside area at the front, and that's where we wanted to sit, but they don't serve booze out there past 8 p.m. Top jaw, top tip. If you want to get boozed, you can't do it out the front of the forest. <laughs> what are you giving me that look for? Why are you giving me that evil eye? Oh, I... This is evil eye. This is your late night place where you want to go have a few cocktails with your mates. I say a few. Is 117 to choose from, and these guys have got a Guinness World Record for the amount of gins on premises. Over a thousand of them. That's like 992 men. So we're having some uh, cocktails made. This place is known for its fire tricks and its cocktail flair. Which one's the old chili and lime one? I'm guessing the one that has the chili in it. This is Keenan and Bucky from Arullo Films. Keenan's from York. I know Keenan as being from York, we dragged him up from London, because that's where he now lives. <laughs> and later we're going to trash his office. Yeah. This is a green fairy, it's called a green fairy because it's got a lot of absinthe on top of it. Like a lot. It's got a lot of absinthe going in there. How many of the 1,000 gins did you try? Um, like... None. Yeah, none. No, we had yeah. none. And they didn't actually prove to me they had 1,000. I mean, for a place that has a thousand gins, great absinthe. <laughs> and where are we heading now, boys? So we are San, going... Santorini. No, Santanas. We're going to Santanas, the greatest underground bar in York. And yet, we're going to be on the terrace. Everybody, I know not everybody has got a body like you. So now we're at Santanas. Thank you, lighting guys. There's a terrace over there. Amazing lighting. And we've got a few cocktails with the lads. This is a little bit of a warm-up for the main event, which is Arillo Head Office. 
goblets of fire, my friends. <laughs> Very well executed cocktails. Very good cocktails. Do you know what I mean? Like when they when they're just balanced and perfected, just right. Santanos, like cocktails are meant to be. Last stop of our evening, Arulo HQ. Uh, normally on these double top door days, we sort of try and keep a lid in it. But uh, when you see old friends, get a bit carried away. It's great to have a little bit of a dance, isn't it, Will? Yeah, it's been a long time since I had a boogie. You know what I'm saying, bro? Jeez. Right, full day of eating today. Starting things off at Little Arras. Owned and run by Adam and Levain, who started their restaurant journey in Sydney, Australia. They came to the UK and they were baking bread in their restaurants and they were like, there are just no good bakeries in York and all the bakeries here are closing down. So they opened up this to bring great baked goods to York. This is their lemon meringue, lemon mousse, pistachio on top. That's really, really, really good. Stand it up. Chocolate orange, cruffin. The reason why it's chocolate orange, Terry's chocolate orange is from York. It's a York thing. Thank you, Keenan. So we're about to leave and they're pretty much sold out. The camp's absolutely decimated, so you can't be languishing hot in the heels in the morning. We're back at Fosgate, a little bit of a pit stop at kiosk. Ox cheat ragu, kimchi grilled cheese. Oh mate, look at that naughty little number. I'm into this with gherkins, the garlic aioli. What have you got there, bro? Don't drink it all got at once. My, uh, my very own top drawer coffee. Top drawer, top four. Our very own medium roast, beautifully blended coffee beans. Our lovely Keenan is leaving us now, and he is tagging in James, and he's going to babysit us for the rest of the trip. We're here for Shambles Kitchen, a smokehouse sandwich shop on York's 600-year-old Butcher Street. Simon went to South Carolina University and travelled around America getting inspired and obsessed with smoked meats. He brought that to York and for 13 years he's been kicking out the best smoked meat sandwiches you could get here. Oh, here we go! Hello, Simon! <laughs> what, what, a, uh, what a welcome! All of Simon's sandwiches are named after historic, infamous York characters. And this right here is the Guy Fawkes. It's explosive. So you can get these, take away, eat on your feet like I am, or if you want to sit down, down that alleyway, little seating area. It's midday. It's okay. Cheers. Cheers, Ross. And just behind Shambles Kitchen, this is Shambles Food Market, and right here is Simon's burrito little shop. And in there is the smoker, smoking all the nice, juicy meats. Simon goes big on his meat, right? <laughs> Keenan, you really big these up, but they live up to the hype, 100%. Just met Andy. Andy owns Santana's where we were last night, drinking the lovely cocktails, where my memory's kind of a little bit patchy. <laughs> lovely! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Wax! Andy's just said we've got to go see Crep Man. Simple crepes, but with finesse. Oh, look at that. Seriously. French street food with actual chef quality ingredients. Thank you very much, Tonic. Thank you. Look at that, bro. The attention to detail he was doing there, like, and it's not just for our one, he wasn't just doing it for cameras. Tonic, every single one was like precise, considered, beautifully prepared. Butter palish. Just that pure sort of like French butter taste coming through. See you later. Bye guys. <laughs> Spark in York, we really look forward to coming here. It's like a shipping container park, and yeah, we've all been to them. Some are great, some are not so great. This one is very, very good. Before getting our food at Shori, we thought we'd get some beers from Piccadilly Tap. I'm here for this murky boy. That is lovely. This is espresso martini stout. It smells like a cake, and it's 9%. Oh, refreshing. This is Danny from Shorey. Danny worked with Michael O'Hare and Michael Keynes in Michelin star restaurants and this is his thing that he set up. This is his brand new brand, Shorey. In Spark, it's like an incubator for brilliant new food ideas. And Shorey is exactly that. Oh, you top man. So, these are salt and pepper chips. Karagi chicken. Karagi chicken is like a famous Japanese small plate. Very tasty. 
and this is salt and pepper pork gyoza. Lots of well-known chefs in York come and eat at Shori. You know, Danny, that's always a good sign. Dry, crispy coating around this beautifully juicy and tender chicken. Oh! Hot mm. or tasty? Mm. These are little cocktails that they make. This is a Japanese whiskey that's infused with miso caramel and toasted sushi rice. It's brilliant. This is yakitori chicken, which is cooked over bichitan coals. For instance, as soon as that smoke from the bichitan coals hits that chicken, boom! Flavor FC. Now it's time for vegan tacos, owned and run by a guy called Jack, who loves two things in this world, plant-based food and super hot stuff. And on the side, their own XXX hot sauce. Get stuck in. Like, that would give you the cheeseburger hit that you want. Mm. So now I've got a little espresso martini to grease the wheels. Cheers! Little drop off at the hotel, dump some footage, dump some kids. And I've had a little bit of a t-shirt change because the other one had sauce all over it. We filmed an outro and then decided to come back. An intro. <laughs> an intro. We did. And new people on the table, mate. Cat. She said that so loud. Cat from Polo Music. The biggest thing to happen in York since the 13th century when the Minster was built. <laughs> yes. Yes, buddy. We're back into those little historic, beautiful, tight roads. Come with me into Barley Hall. Oh, sorry. We come up here to the top of Trembling Madness. Now, legend has it that the top of this is actually an upturned Viking ship that they made into a roof. They have some of the best beers on tap. We've gone for a Dea Brewery Steady Rolling Man. I've only ever had it from a can. However, they have it on draft. Cheers, brother. So cold. Oh my. No, we can just splice it all together. Uh, all in one. Also, this place has the biggest selection of canned beverages that you can buy downstairs. Time traveling taxi. That is a class name. Bobo's cocktail lounge for some cocktails. Oh, oh. Good. I just did a little flaming shot because I'm well hard. So we've left Bobo Lobos. And Bobo Lobos and Voodoos are two of the icons of the York night scene. They're the place to be when you really just want to kick back, enjoy yourself, and be a little bit silly. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. You know what I mean? Right, you're seeing another top jaw morning after the night before. But we are going to get nursed back to life by the wonder that is Flory. A little neighbourhood bakery, a short walk from the centre. This place is big on their community and their friendship. The guys work here all got best mates and they're just oozing life. Thank you very much. Oh, and a little bit of cinnamon bun on top. Lovely, thank you man. Yeah. Attention to detail, looking after the customer giving those extra little gifts, making Sunday special. Hey, oh, thank, thank you very you much. This is a Nutella pastel di natta. Also, can't stress enough how you have to get to Flory, I mean, basically by nine o'clock, but definitely not a quarter past 11. <laughs> that is absolutely sublime. Mm. I don't think I can even pick it up. I don't think it has a structural integrity to make it to my gob. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. York, you have been beautiful and offered us so much and also kind of ruined us. Am I right, Will? You're right, bro. And I don't think we've ever made more friends on a two-day top door trip than this. So big thanks to everyone we've met, especially the Urillo boys. You have made this trip absolutely spot on. 
big thanks for watching. Plan your trip to York, you will not regret it. And before you do that, give that subscribe button a little pickle tickle.